Hi, my name is Debbie and I'm here at Katie's World in Mesa, Arizona. And this is Lorraine. And this is Billy. And Billy had a little situation that Lorraine's going to tell you about and then we're going to go into some training techniques. Well, what brought me to Cage World was the fact that one day Billy got caught up in his cage. He tore up his wing, bleeding everywhere, and we could not handle him to get him out of the cage in order to bring him here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to groom him up real fast. And then we're going to go through a couple of training things that I want you to work on. Okay, so I'm going to get him out with his towel now, and I'm sure he's going to be a little disturbed. Come on, Billy. Yeah, he does not like it. Okay, so first, I'm going to just trim this beak up a little bit. Yep. I just... So now that we've got Billy grooms. Um, the easiest thing to do is just to start them out like on a plate. And what we'll do is that we're just going to let them sit here on this perch for a second, let them cool off a little bit. They fight quite a bit when they're in that towel. Um, so he's breathing a little heavy. Let him just get his bearings first. Okay. So as my left hand goes in, and even if you have to distract them with this right hand, mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of come in like this. See, and I know he's going to bite, but a lot of times that bite is not what you're thinking it's going to be, okay? Um, he's not going to rip my finger off? Well, maybe, <laughs> but you don't know that, so you kind of just got to, like, take the hit. Okay, so your left hand, your right hand is a distraction if you need to, and just kind of go in slowly with his tip. Keep going, just keep going. Just keep going. Keep with your hand. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Now, you just want it for a second, and then you want to put him back on the perch. So if you kind of come around, good. Put him back up on that. Nice. Okay. So, actually, I want you to just go ahead and do that one more time, and then we're going to go to the cage. All right. Good. Perfect. Okay, now just come around and put him back on that perch. So I'm going to put him in here. Put him on that perch. Normally I would go in with both hands and kind of do that thing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have room for both. So, look at that. Oh, now that I expect also. Now I have this foot. And they don't like that. But I can't afford him running all over that cage. So because I'm kind of like showing him now, once I have you, I've got you. A lot of problems a lot of people get into is they get a bird and they go to get him out of the cage and they don't want to come out of the cage and they go, okay, so I'm just going to leave the door open for you and you can just come out whenever you want. No. Because I'm grab this foot and I'm actually going to pull him out. Wow. So I want you to go in there and try that, okay? Now, just to be prepared that you're going to get bit, but I did and there's no blood on the floor, so yeah. you should be okay. All right, Billy. Be nice, okay? We can do this. We can do this. All right, Billy. Come on, baby. Just keep going. Whatever, you just keep going. That's it. Keep going. Perfect, 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 perfect. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Yes! Good job. Perfect. Perfect. Yay. Good job. Nice. <laughs> We're going to try it one more time. Oh, my God. We can We're just going to get luck. <laughs> like no. You do it. All right, Billy. Now, when you go in there, like, yeah. you know how, like, you're lingering your finger? Don't even just, like, your whole intent okay. is just to go in there and not stop. Okay. Okay. All right, Billy. Come on, baby. There you go. Shut up. Nice. Very good. Right. Good. Nice. Done. <laughs> Lorraine, so I'm glad that we went through this. I'm glad that you wanted to get to the point where you can handle him a little bit better and that would be a great thing for him and you to have that bonding thing. But particularly more important that if there was another situation that happened in the house where he did get stuck again, hurt himself, we know what that's like, a fire in the house, that smoke, inhaling that, that's not good either. Maybe even having a carrier by the cage so that if you did once get him out, throw him in there and get out of the house. Right. 
but I think now that you've gone through this trauma with him and it's pushing you to do some things with him that you didn't feel comfortable with, he's also doing the same and I think it's going to be awesome and I'm really glad to see that you guys are going to work this way and he's going to be better, you're going to be better and everything's going to be better. Yeah, it worked out really well. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. <laughs>